Hi, I'm Dan Nicol, and I'm at the start of a really exciting journey with Mercedes-Benz and electric vehicles. Now, these are vehicles I don't know a huge amount about. I'm fascinated about what they are, what they might be, what they might offer me. Are they as quick as cars I've driven before? Are they really that sustainable? What's the cost going to be like? And how in a country where electricity has been a point of conversation and not always for the right reasons for a number of years now, how am I going to charge this car? Is it easy to do? These are all things I want to find out so there's a touch of skepticism but there is also genuine excitement at what this journey might hold so to guide me onto my route towards electric vehicles I've decided to catch up with a few friends who I know know far more about them than I do and have already had the experience so along with a selection of the friends of the brand of Mercedes-Benz I'm catching up with a couple of motoring journalists who know a lot about vehicles and know exactly what the electric vehicles have said to them in their experience so far and then probably most important the lady who knows more about Mercedes-Benz electric vehicles than anybody in South Africa. I'm really excited about this. It's a really cool journey to take and there's some seriously cool cars on my horizon. David Higgs, you've had a chance uh, to experience these electric vehicles. What was your perception, your thinking around what electric might give you? The brilliant thing about my relationship with Mercedes-Benz has been the almost the introduction to electric. So there's been times where I've been in the hybrid and then you know then you go back to the petrol or the diesel. You know? And then the beautiful thing for me has been to see the growth that Mercedes-Benz have done within the EQ space. And you must understand, Dan, that I'm a, I'm a petrol headman. You know, and my biggest fear has always been to to lose the sound of the car. You know, I don't always get to drive the the AMGs, but just like when you know, that's still a sound that you can see the smile on my face. So I think that was my biggest fear. However, getting into a, an electric vehicle now in the mornings and uh, the biggest thrill is that acceleration. You obviously understand this technology that they've taken from Formula One cars, where it's this boost of electric and then it, it goes into the into the petrol except that it's all quiet, it's all gentle, and uh, with the late nights that I have, it's quite a, quite a nice introduction to the day. It's less aggressive. <laughs> My question has always been, well, uh, surely electric, while making the planet a better place, can't match petrol, it can't match that raw speed and power, and yet your suggestion is that perhaps that's not the case, and that electric can actually deliver on that. Well, I don't know if I'm allowed to really say this on camera, but um, I've tested out the raw speed and power um, on possibly a few robot to robot uh, <laughs> unofficial tests and I can tell you that it, it uh, as big as my vehicle is the acceleration of the car drops most things on the road you know so it still has that and and for someone that 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 enjoys driving and the driving experience electric vehicles don't let you down there 